Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta and today I am going to show you how to link Calendly with Google Forms and this is kind of a piggyback on a video that I did last week where I actually show you how to connect a Google Calendar with Calendly and how to set all that up but I will provide the link to that particular calendar video in the comments below so that way you can have that to refer to but today my concentration is going to be how to set up the Google Forms portion of this linkage and as you can see it's not a direct link per se if you will it's basically how I set up the Google form itself and how I also set it up in Calendly when I'm setting up the calendar event so anyway let's go ahead and get started with that okay so we are in my Google forms account and basically I have two forms that I have created and that's the first step is you want to go ahead and create the forms in Google forms first because you're going to need the links to those forms to embed in the Calendly invite that you create or the Calendly item that you're going to create. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on this training clients questionnaire. And when you're creating this questionnaire, you're going to use a combination of short answer, long answer, and radio button bullets here. So once you do all that and you get all that created, you're going to save and then you're going to actually click on send and when you do that you're going to come up to a menu here where you can actually click on a like a little link button here and you can actually copy this link which is what we're doing here now you can copy that link in a notepad app or something like that or a notepad uh, document or something like that so that way because I've got two forms here that I embed into that so once I do that then I would go back to this form that I've created as well and do the same thing click on send and click on the little link button here and do copy and then I would copy it to like notepad or something because I need both of these links to do the next step which is actually going into Calendly and setting up in the Calendly invite or the Calendly scheduler. So let's go ahead and we'll go back to the main page here. Let's go into Calendly now and I'll show you what I do on the Calendly end for that. Okay, so I am in my Calendly event types page here and as you can see my 45 minute free initial consultation which I talked about last time I'm going to go ahead and click on that little card here and that should open up where I can edit this one-on-one -on -one event type. And then when you see the additional options here, you click on where it says invitee questions and this is where you set this up, okay? So basically, one of the things that you would do is you would put the fields in here and you would put various different questions in here and I actually basically added these as questions as you can see and, and I'll show you an example of when you actually click on this link to schedule the appointment how it's embedded in here remember those two links that I copied if you go down here to question five here and I put a short answer here because one of the requirements that I have is that in order for them to keep their appointment from being canceled, they must complete one of those questionnaires ahead of time. And what I did is remember the short form, the training only, I embedded that link in here as well as the long form. So I have the links to both of those forms in here. So basically they are required to answer this because that shows me that they're paying attention and it's also a way that I can weed out tire kickers. So at any rate, once I save and close that, which I won't necessarily need to do here since it's already saved, you go into, and let's go into the live page here, which we can do from here. And let's say I wanted to if someone was scheduling appointment for the 30th, you can come up here and you can click on this 10.30 a.m. 
and then click on confirm and then they would fill out all this information here and as you can see when they actually get a copy of this then the links will be on here but otherwise they can actually copy and paste this link or whichever link into their browser and do it that way so basically that's how I quote unquote link the Calendly form to the Google Forms that I have. So I'm hoping that this will help you today. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. I can help you set this up. Like I said, it's not that difficult. Anyways, y'all have a wonderful rest of your week as well. Take care and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.